the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, here's a live look at downtown Two Harbors, and thanks to the virus, traffic is a lot slower than it usually is this time of year, and the weather for tourists would be great if we could get out and about as freely as we used to. But taking a look at the scene here, we see that the streets are dry, thanks to high pressure, and likely everybody's streets will stay dry until Saturday. That's our next rain chance. From now until then, high pressure's got a hold of us, so cloud development is going to be a pretty difficult thing. All right, let's talk about what's going on at the airport in Duluth with the current conditions. The here and now there says it's 76. Uh, normal is 77. Relative humidity is 46%. North winds going 8 miles per hour, and our air pressure has increased towards 1,015 millibars, or 29.96 inches of mercury. And again, that's because of a pair of eyes covering now the eastern and northern parts of our nation. Current temperatures, well, we have lower 70s in the Upper Peninsula, 71, for example, towards Ironwood, 73, Ashland crossing the border into Wisconsin, Upper 70s, 78 in Hayward, 78 also for Superior, 79 for our friends in Moose Lake and Willow River, 72, Silver Bay, a little bit cooler right by the Lake Grand Marais, 58 to 66 in that neck of the woods, 72, Ely, mid-70s towards Hibbing, Chisholm, and Buell, 76 right now, Grand Rapids and for International Falls. Low temps tonight, likely 50s for most towns. Daytime highs tomorrow, very similar to these, running roughly 75 to 80 degrees. That's a trend we'll get through tomorrow, yes. Come Friday, though, we could push back into the lower 80s for a lot of places. Now to the Doppler, we see the higher pressure keeping the clouds at bay from the UP in through Wisconsin and towards northern Minnesota as well. But some clouds are trying to cross the border from South Dakota into southwestern Minnesota. And that's because of a low pressure system that's getting ready to make its move once these two high pressure systems let go of the region. And I do think they're going to hold on to us through Friday. But the warm front portion of this low will come our way, increase our temperatures towards 80 or so come Friday. And then once we get into Saturday, the main body of the low and its cold front Bring us a 60% chance for rain, showers, and thunderstorms. Accumulations, though, still don't look to be that impressive this time around. And frankly, despite all the rain we've received here for much of July, we're still facing drought-like conditions. We can use more because the annual deficit is still running towards about 4 inches. Running to temperatures tonight in Minnesota, we see they'll be dropping into the 50s for most places, maybe 60 right by the lake. Partly cloudy sky up above. Wisconsin, Michigan. Your low temps should run 54 to 56 degrees, and you'll get an easterly wind going 5 to 10, probably more northerly wind in Minnesota. Tomorrow in Wisconsin and upper Michigan, 75 to 80 degrees with a mostly sunny sky. Minnesota gets a mostly sunny sky as well with high temps, 75 to 80 inland and near 75 right by the lake. Now that mini warm spell coming our way means Friday could go towards 82 with a partly cloudy sky. Saturday gets the 60% shower and storm chance, but it goes away as early as Sunday. And then another big ridge of high pressure brings back a clear sky all the way through Wednesday, though temperatures may take another step back and for the most part be in the lower 70s for the week ahead, Tony. If we could have this weather year round, I would be a very content person. There is nothing hmm. to complain about in that forecast. Even though there's a chance for rain, we need rain. So, you know. True, true. Yeah. Uh, I can hear where you're coming from, Tony, but I need a little bit of winter. A little bit of winter. People like snowmobiling, all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. Thanks, Dave. The show